great honor to be here today with the Black is Back Coalition for Social Justice, Peace, and Reparations. We are here from the African People's Solidarity Committee and the Uhuru Solidarity Movement, the organization of white people working under the leadership of the African People's Socialist Party and Chairman Omali Yeshitela with the job to go back into our own white communities and win other white people, other colonizers, settlers like ourselves to stand in solidarity with African people inside this country and around the world, with the Palestinian people, with the indigenous people, with all colonized and oppressed peoples around the world, fighting for national liberation and the destruction of colonialism. We salute our leadership, Chairman Omali Yeshitela, Deputy Chair Ona Zane Yeshitela, and the African People's Socialist Party. We salute Chairwoman Penny Hess, the Chair of the African People's Solidarity Committee, who is also one of the Uhuru Three, who has been working under the party's leadership to build white solidarity with black power for over 47 years. Uhuru. And we salute the courageous resistance of the people of Palestine. Our job as the Uhuru Solidarity Movement is to expose other white people to the understandings that as Chairman Omali Yeshitela teaches us, there would be no United States of America without the enslavement of African people, turning, kidnapping African people, turning African human beings into commodities, without the genocide against the indigenous people and the theft of their land. It was this process which brought wealth, power, democracy, prosperity to us as white people on the pedestal of the oppression and colonial domination of African, indigenous, and colonized peoples. So yes, we believe the United States government, the governments of Europe, the banks, the corporations owe reparations to African people. And we also believe that all white people owe reparations to African people. All white people sit on the pedestal of the oppression of African people and have benefited historically and continue today in the stolen labor, life, land, and resources of Africa. And we have not been innocent bystanders in this process. It has been white working people who have been at the front lines of carrying out the lynchings and the terror against African people and indigenous people historically to secure our place on the pedestal. And as Comrade Lisa Davis has pointed out, for over a hundred years in this country, no white person was ever indicted for lynching an African, for hanging an African human being from a tree, for burning an African man alive, mutilating them in, in festivals of sadism and violence. And yet, for the first time, white people are one to work under the leadership of the African Revolution and fight for reparations to African people, they get indicted. But we are clear, the primary target of this attack is Chairman Omali Yeshitela, and they are not attempting to imprison the chairman because they truly believe he is an agent of Russia. They know he is an agent of black power, of Africa and African people. They are attacking him for the same reason they attacked Marcus Garvey and Malcolm X and Fred Hampton and the Black Panther Party because he and the African Revolution represent the vanguard of all oppressed peoples around the world. And I want to close by saying that white people who are truly anti-imperialism, who are truly for socialism and liberation, we cannot walk over the bodies of African people, of the indigenous people, of colonized people in this country where we, like the Israeli Jews, are colonial settlers on stolen, occupied land. We cannot walk over the bodies of African people or past their righteous resistance movements to pretend that we have sympathy for the Palestinian people. That is 
is not the answer. If we are truly for Palestine, we recognize Palestine is right here. This is the original settler colonial empire. And any white person who truly stands for victory to the Palestinian people starts by standing in solidarity with the black revolution, with the African revolution under the leadership of the African People's Socialist Party. So we are honored to be here with the reparations contingent. If you are a white person, march with the reparations contingent today. Let's go behind the leadership of black power and demand the U.S. government drop the charges against the Uhuru Three. Hands off, Chairman O'Malley Yeshatella. Victory to Palestine. Unity through. Uhuru.